OK, so the new boys went on dates with several of the girls in the villa, much to the other guy's jealousy, especially Luca. Now, Ekinsu went on a date with Jay, and in true Ekinsu form, she put on a very public display of flirtation as Davide watched on from the rooftop terrace. She gave Jay the whole green light or all of the green light signals to pursue her and let him know that she was interested in getting to know him. And she mentioned that Luca isn't making any effort with her at the moment. And to top it all off, um, they did the lady and the tramp spaghetti trick without actually kissing. All of the guys were laughing um, at how ballsy it was. It was um, really, you know, it'd be really interesting to see if Jay does pursue her. Now, he also went on a date with Amber and he stated how emotionally intelligent she was, which I think was a really interesting observation. So he seems to have that um, kind of personality connection with her. He seemed impressed by that aspect of her, which is something that you don't necessarily see on this show. Um, he also stated that he was all about personality um, and Amber was also saying how fit he is and she's clearly very attracted to him. So I definitely think that he could turn her head away from Dami, definitely, because that's very lukewarm anyway. I don't think she's particularly interested in Dami. Um, and but he, or he also finds Ekin Sue attractive. Uh, and possibly more so, but I think you can also see that Ekin Su just craves attention. And she did, you know, tell him that she's not getting any from um, Davide at the moment. So, I mean, he he said that he liked um, Amber's um, emotional intelligence. I think he also has emotional intelligence and he knows that Ekin Su is just, you know, there to, you know, to, to win dominance. Um, and so he would definitely be wiser to choose Amber. So we'll have to see what happens there. Now, Gemma is slowly being eased out of the spotlight. And whilst it's still obvious that she's getting still getting very generous screen time from the producers, um, the new guys in the house aren't interested in her because she seemingly is stuck in this awkward love triangle with possessive Luca and ex-boyfriend Jax. Now, the other night in the villa, she accidentally called Luca Jax, um, which was shocking because you know, it's never a good sign to accidentally um, call the person that you're seeing, that, you know, your ex's name. So it was very awkward. It put a spanner in the works between them. And then to add insult to injury, Gemma actually, instead of speaking to Luca straight away about what had happened, about calling him her ex's name, um, in sitting and having a chat with the ex, Jax. So, you know, to, you know, from Luca's perspective, it's not looking good at all. It's not looking great for her and Luca. And I do believe that, you know, there's a really good chance that she'll end up back with her ex, Jax, in the house. And, you know, when that does happen, sparks will be flying. Now, Remy went on a date with India and Paige, and he really expressed his interest in India. And he's made it known that he likes her. However, India played it quite cool and is very laid back. And I'm starting to feel like she's probably going to stay with Akena, at least for now, until she can really be sure of her interest in someone else. Um, and now someone he did have a mutual attraction with was Paige and she seemed very excited about him and attracted to him. And she mentioned that he's not her usual type, but that she's drawn to him. And he also got equally quite excited about Paige as well. And, you know, the sparks aren't flying between Paige and Jax right now. And she and Remy are obviously hitting it off. So who knows? Um, but she's practically a free agent at the moment. And, you know, it's just a kind of a technicality that she's with Jax or a practicality. But, it's, you know, she really is a free agent. Um, they're not coupled up as, as such. Now, it could go both ways in terms of him picking India or Paige. But my bets are on Paige as he does seem really attracted to her. And she's probably giving him, you know, um, 
more of a sign about being interested in him as opposed to India, who's very reserved um, and who rightly views him. She said she sees him as cheeky, you know, and that, that probably equates to her seeing him also as not very trustworthy, which I think is very wise because he does come across like you know, someone who's really up for the game. I understand that's what they're there for. But I think if India risks um, kind of dropping things with a Kenna, who's definitely pr quite, you know, a safe option, to, you know, gamble it with this guy and then for him to drop her down the line. I think she's she's clever. She knows what she's doing. Um, so who do you think the guys will pick at the next recoupling? Or perhaps, you know, there'll be a twist and the girls will, you know, choose. But let me know in the comments below.